manipulation of audience. Lack of awareness in the proper usage of social media. Corruption. Vote buying. Ethnocentrism. Life inequality. Conflict among other religions. <coughs> Gender inequality. Advertising can be deceptive, manipulative, and even untruthful. It also distorts reality and creates unrealistic expectations. Through media, advertising is expected to become part of people's lives, building and sustaining personal relationships through human buy-in, emoting based on human needs, setting brands and consumers on an emotional journey where advertising becomes a sustained and rewarding presence in people's lives. Most of us were social media users, but we can't avoid being a victim of fake news. We tend to just believe on what we see and what we read in social media. So we need to bear in mind that we need to think critically first before we click. We must be aware to what really is happening on social media. It is really the right time for us to be more literate in using social media because we are consuming news, engaging news, and being exposed to news to spread reliable information. Corruption has always been a big issue to our society. It exists most especially in the field of politics. The saddest part is, the one whom we choose to govern us, they are the ones who put our money in their pocket. It is our responsibility to be aware and be mindful of our part to end this issue in order to attain good governance by the presence of its eight good characteristics. The effectiveness, equity, strategic vision, transparency, accountability, participation, consensus, orientation, and trust. May 13 is the time for us to choose who among the candidates deserves to govern our community. And we cannot deny the fact that some of candidates use their money to buy the votes of the voters. If we are worried about our future, and the future of our country, then all of us must cast our votes. Voting is not only our right, in fact, it is our responsibility as a citizen. Before casting our votes, we must think of the past performance of the particular party and its agenda in the future. Choose the right candidate to govern us the one who has strong vision for the betterment of our community and the one who has strong conviction to change the community in a good way. Racism is not simply a reflection of individuals' negative attitudes toward racial minority members of society but also a reflection of how the policies, regulations, programs, values, norms, sanctions, and practices of institutions within society inform the structure and individuals, attitudes and practices towards those considered subordinate or inferior. Media plays the main role in the lives of humans. The influence of media is crucial on issues of race and ethnicity has long documented the media use meaningfully impacts to get to know everyone's race and ethnicity and to avoid a stereotype. With the use of media, we can inform the other about our distinctive and unique physical traits in where we belong. We cannot deny the fact that in the world that we are living, 
there is always division among the upper class, middle class, and the lower class. Among the three classifications, the upper class is always on top, the more powerful, and the ones being treated like a queen and king. On the other hand, those less fortunate were always labeled to be always at the bottom, less powerful, and were treated unfairly because of their status of living. It is very difficult to define if media can have a direct positive impact on this inequality, but we can see though that it gives us many new opportunities. Media has created a public platform for disadvantaged and underprivileged to raise their voices. Instead of finding the gap of rich and poor, we must stand together to demand an end to a system that allows the powerful to conspire and to keep people poor and silent. We, as individuals, as well as a part of a community, were given the possibility to become active in this development process. The relationship between media and religion as a whole count is complex. But as time goes down, the interaction between religion and media has developed. The media have been most involved in the presentation of religion. In the area of religion, the media can offer various details about religious activities and information that lead to increased understanding what religion is. Media injects religion to create goodness and shapes the public perception. It's been a long time that we are battling for gender equality to fight for the right of an individual to experience and have a fair place to live in. Girls and a member of the LGBT community has always been a victim of this issue. They were the ones who experienced discrimination, unfair treatment, bullying, and such heartbreaking crimes that can really affect their views in life. Now, it is the right time for us to stand. voice out our right and to show to the world that the girls and a member of the LGBT community can also make a difference. That we can also be an asset of the society and not a liability. We have to empower everybody regardless of your gender identity. We. 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 Art. The future. Media. Practitioners. Okay. Society. Where everybody should be educated in media in the field of advertising. Nurture our diversity. And corruption. Exercise the right of voting. Fair treatment of rich and poor. There is our respect in every religion. And respect to everyone's cultural affiliation. To live in a society where gender equality is present. So stand. Speak. Know your right. And be educated. Good advertising does not just circulate information. It penetrates the public mind with desires and beliefs. Our personal consumer choices have ecological, social, and spiritual consequences. It's time that we re-examine our deeply held notions that underlie our lifestyle. The government must be open and accountable to us. Somewhere inside of all of us is the power to change the world. Have a vision, make a right decision, vote. We have different religions, different languages, different color skin, but we all have belong one human race. No matter your social status or how powerful you are, we are all equal. 